So this research paper is called AlphaGo Moment for Model Architecture Discovery. Uh, and I'm going to have a different take on this research paper than I think a lot of people will. I have been uh, reluctant to go over this research paper because I've seen like so much, uh, uh, like I've seen this paper a lot throughout my network and my community and like a bunch of uh, like influencers just like going gaga <laughs> over this research paper essentially and then so and anytime i see that like i don't want to just like hype the research paper right and then so i've read through this research paper it's a good research paper like they're they're what they do here is good and it moves things forward, but there are some definitive limitations with this method. And it's like, uh, this headline is kind of hyperbole. Uh, and anything that like, and you're going to hear influencers talking about with this research paper, they're going to miss some fundamental and some very fundamental aspects of this. So. Let's dive into this. The very first thing I want to touch on within this is their actual testing method within this, right? Like just just how they tested. So they tested on, uh, they did uh, essentially 18,000 or 1,800 experiments on uh, utilizing 20,000 GPU hours. And then so just as a like a general ballpark of that, this experiment cost them, let's say like, uh, 20,000 to 40, 50,000 dollars just to run this. Like, and, and like, that's extremely uh, important to point out within this, right? Like, a lot of people are like, like, I think a lot of people, like, they just flat out do not understand that. Like, it's like, why don't you just like replicate this study? Or why don't you just like, like, you know, train these models yourself? Or like, why don't you go through this? Uh, sure, give me twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars just to throw away on it. Sure, and I can do it, right? And then for their twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars, they get what we're talking about here and what we're experimenting with here. And then what I'm going to flat out like dismiss overall within this video, right? So it's like, I mean, to me, it's a uh, they wasted, they they kind of lit it on fire as to uh, what their outcome is within this, but. Not to everyone within that, right? And like, uh, and I don't think that they literally did that. There's uh, important aspects of this research paper that do come out. And then, so what this research paper does flat out is they uh, have the model. They replace the the uh, training mechanism, the reward mechanism of the model with like uh, they call it this stream aware router. And then, the, like essentially, it allows for the model to like uh, self train itself. Uh, and that's kind of like the the. Uh, uh, bottom line within that. And then in this instance, it's uh, training itself to essentially find uh, like the uh, best LLM model or the best way to to build a model uh, forward. And they're, they're basing this off of like the alpha go uh, mentality and ideology, where essentially it's like a lot of like decision trees put together and there's some complex math and it's a mixture of experts model. The architecture overall is, is really cool the results show that it works overall right so then why am i knocking this research paper here's their evolution tree um and then like their methodology and then so let's go to the results here <laughs> the, the results of actually it's going to be down here here perfect so this is where we're going to start uh where i have uh, my criticisms of this model <laughs> overall. And, and you can see it very blatantly if you actually like know what to look for within this. Like, like as soon as I saw this, I was like, okay, yeah, this, this makes uh, a lot of sense. And then like, uh, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be disappointed with this method overall once you uh, actually play around with it, like if you don't understand it, right? And then so uh, reason being is so like these are all of their benchmark scores. Like like so uh, essentially, again, what this model is is uh, trained to do is to uh, detect like different and new uh, like uh, AI architectures overall, right? So that it's AI building AI. <laughs> uh, and these scores are, are low, like these scores are, aren't good. <laughs> they're not they're not bad, but they're not good. Uh, and then like, like um, they're essentially like the, the problem with these scores. If you notice them, is that they're they're all in range, right? Uh, so we have a range in like on the right hand side column here uh, between forty two and forty four, uh, and then numbers that fall within that range, uh, and then 
on the let on the like uh this test score number here on the 20 million parameter to 1 billion parameter models uh we have our our test score range of between 36 and 39 and then on our training loss we have our range uh between like basically like 0.438 and 0.45 and then like you can see it's all within these very narrow bands right and then so uh, within those very narrow bands and what that means is having experimented with these things for multiple years now uh, is that these are this uh, algorithm, this uh, like the, essentially like what they've created here, this this optimizer, it operates very fundamentally like a swarm op op like a swarm algorithm. That's exactly what we're looking at here uh, as far as the. Uh, what this is doing and then so with their swarm algorithm when it comes to these things is like this is exactly the numbers that i would expect to see because so it gets stuck in a local minima right problem with this is is that like they'll never in a million years be able to get it to to go higher than these these uh local minimas right and then you'll think and you'll think like okay i can i can uh be able to to uh maximize and and trick out the model from here right but it's just how swarm algorithms work like if you i mean it's just like look at these numbers across the board right like it's uh it gets this is a classic hallmark of how swarm algorithms work, where it's just it's not going to go past that local ma the, that local maxima, right? Like, and there's, there's just nothing that you can do within this. I mean, what we're looking at here is flat out exactly why I invented the, the Zarya architecture, and then specifically the Zyra architecture, right? So, like, coupling uh, the resonance resonance with swarm algorithms, and then like essentially uh how that works and and what i do within that is like i had to throw the kitchen sink uh and being able to get this I, like i literally think i'm the first person that has researched like essentially like how to get past these local minima problems and then like just knowing how exactly you do that i like my i i don't know my guess is i think it would be too comp computationally expensive with everything that i know with how these models operate and how they break down and and what we're looking at here to actually solve this problem. So bottom line within this, like I think that this is a cool method. It's innovative. It's on the right track, right? It's the direction that people want to go. Like the end result of this is, is like what people want is a model that can train themselves and that can train themselves on the fly and in real time. That they, that they essentially can like learn to learn, right? Like meta learning. This brings us a small step closer, like like a tiny step closer, and like not like a like one small step for man and one small like giant leap for mankind. It's just like one small step, period, <laughs> right? Like and and that's like all all it is within this. A lot of this has been talked about and, and done before. Like there's a lot of research around these areas, so I think it's it's. Um, I've seen optimizers do almost exactly what this model is doing just from smaller institutions. So pointing that out, there's that aspect of it as well. Uh, and then looking at this data, like this is just like absolutely jarring to me. Like I, like I 1 bajillion percent uh, know exactly what's going on here because again, I've seen this, this type of data for years here and there's no getting around it. Like uh, I don't care how much make believe or magic's dust or like whatever you want to put into this uh you're not going to increase that local maxima based off of these scores like you're just not like uh, i i would bet the house on it like uh and then so within that you're it's a i mean to me it's a waste of twenty thousand to fifty thousand dollars whatever they they invested within this right because it's like you proved that okay like uh uh, you can get the same result with an LM out of this that you can get with the swarm algorithm out of this because they're essentially doing the same thing within this. And then so uh, if you want to uh, look at more advanced architectures for solving this problem, uh, if you recognize this problem, check out my Zara, my Zyra architecture within this, right? Again, I, I've uh, cracked how to fix this. It's computationally expensive. Uh, you have to essentially <laughs> like uh, have give uh, like complete control uh, of the model to just go on complete exploratory mode. Uh, and there's some you know ways that you can manipulate it and adjust it. And it would be cool to see those uh within this but this mo this as is is not what this paper is advertising 
it's not the alpha go moment for model architecture discovery this isn't going to lead us to agi within a year or two like i see a, i mean i've seen a lot of influencers just hyping the heck out of this research paper uh and then like again it's this is a a cool research paper but there is absolutely nothing new within this like this this is not the research paper to hype but again, it's being hyped, so I'm talking about it and noticing it and giving these things from my perspective uh, as to how exactly I see this and how exactly this research paper is breaking down. I'll leave a link to this research paper in the description of this video. And if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.